everyone, Dr. Phil again. Uh, it is Friday about three o'clock. Um, we just tried to do a super fast video here of the knee joint. Uh, there's a lot of questions on it in lab. So I have um, three models up here. They're all pretty similar. Wanted to go over real quick. Sorry, once again, I'm in the micro room, so there's stuff all over. But here we go. So I don't know if you wanted to go from uh, posterior or anterior, but they're all pretty much going to be the same. So just when you're orientating yourself, just remember you have to figure out medial or lateral. And if you don't remember, Tibia is always going to be lateral. Tibia is always going to be medial. And then we get to the to the distal surface. I'm going to find a model here super quick. Sorry, he lost a toe in the car ride. Uh, remember that you're going to have your medial malleolus and your lateral malleolus. Composing that are comprising that ankle joint. So talus, calcaneus, and then remember your cuneiform. I'll come back to that in just a minute. So coming back to this in your lab practical, talus is going to be here. Is that sesamoid bone? This is the ligament. Remember this. The rectus muscle here, all right, patella, and then you have the tendon going here. Ligament, sorry, attaching to the um, tubal tuberosity here and allows that extension of the knee joint. So just remember medial collateral ligament, lateral collateral ligament. Your meniscus is in here, depending on which model you have, it's always going to be in there. And I said in lab last night, all right, it's not really there for cushioning. It's really to keep this joint from shear. Sorry, from shearing when you plan a plantar flex. All right, I'm going to flip these over and go over some of the structures the best I can. You want a better idea of what's going on? I think it's page 174 in your lab book should have some of this. All right, but it's not straightforward, so I don't know how they're going to ask you. Any of these, but these are pretty much all they could clearly ask you, in my opinion, because um, nothing else is really, really clear, even if it's in your lab, but we can't find it on the models. So, just from the posterior, once again, you've got to remember medial, lateral. So, lateral, collateral, medial, collateral. There's your medial meniscus. Lateral meniscus, there's your cruciate list and how it crosses over. So, <clears throat> I'll just read off the three. All right, medial and lateral meniscus, medial, lateral meniscus. So, that should be super easy. <clears throat> your tibial tuberosity is going to be down here. This is where this attaches, and I talked about. Ashkin Slogger's uh, disease um, last night in lab. So, tibial tuberosity, if I were to pull this away here, would be the attachments point right there. So, you're going to have your, um, you're going to have your patellar surface there. Once again, it's going to be hard to tell which is, um, if the bone is just laying there, which is superior and which is inferior, but you should know that this is the uh, posterior surface because it's going to fit fit in that groove and it keeps the feet uh, patellar from tracking. All right, that little V groove in there is going to fit right in between those condyles. So, patellar tendon ligament, depending on the model. There's a patella in here, and these are the ligaments. 
And so if they mark either one of those, you'll know exactly what that is already. Fibular right. head. Should be super easy. Right. It's going to be right there. Which means it was going to look sort of like the ulna, but it's going to be longer. All right. But if it's on the model already, you know this is tibula. Tibula. All right. So don't make up words. Tibia starts with a T, fibula starts with an F. They're very similar. So if you don't remember, don't make up a word and want half credit. All right. This is the only time that spelling is a little bit crucial with these. <clears throat> so when you come to these, you could, in my opinion, and I'll give you credit, I will always call this medial collateral lateral collateral or your sheet here says tibular collateral or tibial collateral so either one is is correct your um lab book calls it one thing i learned it as something else but in the medical field we're going to know whether you're talking about lateral collateral medial collateral medial is going to be tibula lateral is going to be tibula either way the teller ligament is in there again. So depending on what they what they tag, right? You'll be able to figure that out hopefully. So, no, all right. So for oblique. Collateral ligament. And my key here, it's number 12. So it's going to be this here, right, right here, right here, or right here on any of these models. They're very, very similar. So it's oblique. You know, it's going to go from medial to lateral. It's oblique. The best I can tell from the diagrams, this is going to be what you're they're calling the arcuate ligament up here. So it'll be either here, this little piece here, this little piece here. It might be hard to see unless you zoom in on that. Or this little piece in here. So it's just realize it's going to be more anterior. And I told you last night, these are really designed. One's anterior, one's posterior to stop this the tip or the tibia. The femur and the tibia to track anterior posterior. And here's definitively your posterior cruciate ligament. Right there is your oblique. Okay, so I hope that helps somewhat. Right, so these so any of these models, they all look really similar. This one allows us to move here. This one I like because I can move it here and show the tibial tuberosity there. So I don't know what they're going to tag. I know we haven't decided yet, but it's probably going to be medial collateral or tibial collateral, um, tibial collateral, lateral collateral, um, posterior cruciate. Oblique, all right, or one of the meniscuses there. So, uh, either way, you should be fine. I'll go over this later when we start talking about some other joints. And just while I have the camera rolling and the, no one's calling me, all right, I was going to go over the foot. This actually is a, oh no. Yeah, I think this is the real one I put together. Okay, so there is the foot. So just realize palisis or palisis, I'm sorry. All right, so these are going to be numbered. So you're going to really need to know um, the talus. That's going to be important. Calcaneus. And the only one's going to be tricky navicular. All right, and cuboid. Cuboid's going to be here. So cuboid's going to be lateral. All right. 
And I said last night I adjust this on a lot of runners. So it's cuboid, navicular, and then you're going to have your cuneiform. So this is going to be really go from medial to lateral or lateral to medial. So you're going to have that medial cuneiform, intermediate, and your lateral. All right, so it's not going to be that difficult. So once again, you're going to have the patellus here. Calcaneus is here. And the Achilles tendon touches here, and you have all the ligaments on the bottom of your foot here. So once again, this is going to be your cuboid here. So if this is the cuboid, navicular is always going to be <clears throat> medial. Okay, and then you just have your cuneiforms. So you can medial, intermediate, and lateral. Medial, intermediate, and lateral, cuboid, navicular, talus, calcaneus. Also, while I had it out, I just want to show everyone. Okay, that's the scapula. This is actually a real scapula. You can see if I hold it up, you can almost see through it. That's how thin it is. And remember, once again, this surface is going to be really smooth because it has to glide across the rib cage. To your spine of the scapula, supraspinous, infraspinatus. All right. <clears throat> you guys kept telling me it's a glenoid cavity. I don't know if it's a fossa because it's not that deep. But this is what it looks like in real life. Super thin. If I drop this, it'll probably shatter. There is a real, hopefully, almost the ulna. And there is an actual real radius. Just for the sound effect, these are actual real bones. Totally different sound. All right, I will see everyone Thursday.